an unusual subject. I hope you're ready for get your pens out. Get your pens out. It has nothing to do with what I'm saying. You're going to want it. Don't leave before I'm finished. Glory to God. The word tonight is how to conquer your secret sensual strongholds. How to conquer your secret, the secret one I'm talking. How to conquer your secret sensual stronghold. I could have said sexual, but it, 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 it's also sexual, but sensual goes beyond just sexual. Are you there? How to conquer your secret sensual stronghold. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And you got it right because we can't preach it. There is too much information. We can't preach it. Mm. To understand, let's stay sexual for most of the time. How to help me, the, help me with, with the theme again or the topic. How to conquer your sexu, sensual, sensual. No, 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 wrong. How to conquer your secret sensual strongholds sensual in terms of sexual can happen in stages can happen in stages and some of the these the stages are not ungodly but some are ungodly mm. in terms of the opposite sex you may acknowledge an individual acknowledge their beauty acknowledge their nationality acknowledge something great about them so it begins with acknowledgement i'm talking about stages now stages in dealing with the opposite sex mainly mm. acknowledgement is okay to acknowledge a person the person is they are beautiful or they are good at this or that's okay and then you have admiration mm. you can admire a person's generosity you can admire their humility you can admire their gift their achievement their commitment yes all of that is good acknowledgement admiration yeah then you have the third level called attraction attraction and there is where you get into the dangerous area Amen. You don't want to be attracted to the opposite sex who is not your husband or your wife. But it's okay to admire or to acknowledge. Are you there? So you have acknowledgement, you have admiration, you have attraction. Then if you don't block that, it will become infatuation. From attraction to infatuation. Somebody too much on your mind, taking up your time etc etc it's becoming infatuation and the the last one the fifth one now it grows from infatuation to obsession obsession so you want to understand how these things work and know what is allowed and what is not allowed name them quick the stages come on acknowledgement okay come on admiration okay come on attraction not okay infatuation not okay obsession definitely not okay let me give you a little dissection of the emotion that happened in this old scenario mm. you have the thought write it down you can call this dissection sorry for the big word i couldn't find a smaller word uh, uh, it's kind of scientific a dissection of what happened between between a, a man or a woman as they begin to go down this lane which begins okay then get worse is it first begins with a thought a thought and then that thought can become a consideration hmm? then from a consideration to an imagination and from an imagination to a stronghold now i didn't give you all the parts but i'm just keeping it simple and these, this is the dissection of what happens in terms of um, the secret sensual stronghold. Give me the topic again. How to conquer your secret 
sensual stronghold now some of you may not be going through it right now but every one of you have been through that i'm not going to ask to lift your hand because we can't start with lies we can't start with lies you're going to lose power right there <laughs> every one of you have to be through that at some time hmm. secret sensual stronghold maybe it was maybe it was when maybe it was a hundred years ago <laughs> Come on now. Help me with topic again. Topic again. How to come on now. Conquer your stronghold. Now watch me now. I'm gonna give you the triggers. You gotta get them down now. Get them, please. You gotta get this. The triggers that can cause your secret sensual strongholds to damage you. Mm. Or you can cause them to begin to happen. The first trigger is past indulgence if you had been involved with an individual in past dates past girlfriend past boyfriend past baby mother baby father yes 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 past indulgences um you you haven't seen your baby father for 20 years and you see her and if, if you're not careful you can destroy yourself yes you're being real right now in real right now past past indulgence you have been involved in the past in sexual activity so you it's an easy trigger it's an easy trigger if you do not draw the clear line so when you meet that 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 that, that guy who's your baby father 10 years ago you met him i i, I mean 10 years ago, you haven't seen him and he shows up and whatever you can't go on a date with him you can't go nowhere with him uh, it's right there ready to happen again it's past indulgences notability right it's on notable i'm talking about the triggers right now church write as much as you can write as much as you can notability past indulgency can trigger the secret sensual stronghold notability a person's gift yes a person's gift do not be over intrigued by a person's gift are they stardom write it down or the achievement hmm. or their position hmm. some people are easily starstruck you know you know called starstruck if a star call to them they faint you know or their position struck you know or the person is an important person or even their boss their boss struck their boss part of the Yeah, don't be like that. Don't be like that. Some people, notability, some people are even anointing struck. The anointing on a person will cause you, if you don't careful, to miss your way and fall in love with them when, when you're not to fall in love with them. Oh my, no church, no, no, no church don't come down like this. Come on, somebody here. Glory to God. Mm. Popularity. So we're talking about the triggers. The third trigger are is physical appearance, beauty, you know, handsomeness, dressing, neatness. As I say, you can acknowledge and admire, but you can't go further. Mm. Physical appearance. You gotta you gotta be careful of going beyond because of physical appearance, you know? Yes. We're talking about the triggers, you know, but you know, you know, the ladies, you know, you gotta just beautiful. You know, it's always been just beautiful, but in terms of the opposite sex, make sure that you do not cross the line in terms of sex, um, get me again, secret, sensual, stronghold. What is now? Close proximity. Close proximity. You were close to somebody. Mm, it's easy to all of a sudden begin to like the person. I love the person, even though they're already married, or even though you're already married. So because you work at the same place, he's just across from you there or whatever, you know you're going to draw the line. You have lunchtime, don't want to go, to go eat with him. You know, because the mind, the mind can be, yeah, the mind, come on now. And sometimes you may not have it in your mind, but he has it in his mind. Or you may not have it in the mind, but she has it in her mind. Are you there? So close proximity, you'll be aware. You're not going to say, you know, okay, I'm going to leave because he's over there. Not like that, but you are aware. Yeah, and you're conscious. 
Yes, triggers, close proximity, a job. What is now a friend? Wow, a normal friend. I'm going to go to the big thing about Plutonic. I can't go into those stuff. Just a normal friend. Yeah, can be a trigger. You, have a, you must have line with a normal friend of the opposite sex. And a friend of a friend. Come on, you want it heavy? You want it heavy. Many friend of a friend have taken away the husband. Best friend take away the wife. Are you there? All over. So the church has to talk about it. You can't go on like we don't know about it. I'm going on like some logs. Are you there? Your best friend can take away your God of mercy. You never hear this in a church in the world. Come on. So you're conscious. So keep your best friend, be nice, but you must be conscious. Triggers great help from somebody. You get a great help from somebody. You receive a gift. You receive money. It can break down your line. And it's okay to take help. But you must be aware. So you know when not to take it. And where not to take it. And how not to take it. Yes. Yes. Great help. Mm, great appreciation. And so hear this one now. You never hear this one in any way in the world. In no book. In nothing. You have a bereavement. Listen to me. Somebody die for you. And somebody come and be there. Helping you every turn. Your turn. Woo. Never hear this in your, in your life. Somebody be very, the opposite sex, you lost your father or you lost your mother, and, and that somebody is there for you throughout, right through that bereavement, you better draw the line. <laughs> Lord of God. Hmm. Somebody say, secret, sensual stronghold, how to conquer, how to conquer. My Lord, what kind of church is this? Mm. Mm. Soulish connection it triggers soulish connection a bad dream. You had a dream about a sexual activity and you get up and just gone to work the following day. You get up, bad dream, you and somebody were in sexual activity in the dream. And you just get up, gonna know you get up and you rebuke it. Are you there? Amen. You bind it, you expel it. I expel this experience from my spirit, from my mind, from my body in the name of Jesus. And I cover myself under it, but do not leave it. Just, you got to do something. Don't get up. If you're not careful, that same aura will be upon you. And here what some people do. Enjoy. You never hear this in church in your life. What kind of church is this? Come on now. Do not enjoy that bad dream. Just, just, just the bad dream, you get into warfare. My Lord, my Lord. Maybe I can't finish tonight. Maybe I can't finish tonight. The next, so, uh, so that's a soulish connection. If you don't break it, then it, it, it come on you. If during the day, you, be, you begin to think about it. If you're not careful, you enjoy it. So it becomes a soulish thing. Remember, dreams are like it real. Anybody ever think that something happened and it was a dream? Yeah. Come on. You don't want to talk to me. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Mm. And it was a dream and you think something happened? You go the other way too. You think it was so real and it was just a dream? Yeah, so both of them can, can damage you, can damage your se sense of world, can damage your emotion. Are you there? So you get to work as if it was for real. Mm, but remember, that's not a sin. What you saw in the dream, what you're involved in, that's not a sin. What is a sin is because you had watched porn the night before. That is the sin. Or oh, you don't like me right now. You don't like me. Or oh, you watch that movie, you're watching movie, a little too sexy movie of late, you know, and it caused you to have that dream. That is the sin. Because the Bible says, set no evil thing before thine eyes. How your eyes affect your heart. I'm quoting Bible. Yes. Ooh, we can't finish. We can't finish tonight. So bad dream. Mm -hmm. And on I'm talking about soulish connection. Bad dream or unrejected past. You had a sexy past and you you have not renounced it. You have not expelled it. So you still look back and enjoy some of the past. 
Some folks, they imagine some of their past activity. So these are soulish. You rebuke it. Never enjoy it. Never, never go back there. Come to your mind. Because you're a human. Come to your mind. Rebuke it. Don't say, okay, my boyfriend before my husband, I was enjoying him more and all those stuff. Rebuke it. And, 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 and vice versa. Now, I know, I know some of you are not with me right now. Okay, so Bishop is going too deep. No. How to conquer secret sensual stronghold. Re reject, if, if your past is unrejected, mm, inappropriate touch and you didn't reject it. Inappropriate embrace and you did not reject it. Mm, inappropriate words and you didn't reject it. You just go on normal. <laughs> no, 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 no. Then if you, if you don't break it, you begin to have a soulless connection to it. Did you hear what I said? I said, I said, inappropriate touch, inappropriate embrace, inappropriate words. No, it is not good. No, I, 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 no, that cannot be done. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And if somebody did it, he said, no, oh, don't do it again. You know, and if you have the strength to rebuke them. Yes, you can rebuke you can rebuke anybody who who try to get into your physicalness. You can, it, it could be a doctor, could be a, a bishop, doctor, could be a king. As long as they begin to invade hmm, your physical person, you have all right to rebuke them. Amen. So we're talking about the triggers. The next trigger is demonic oppression. Demonic oppression. And this demonic oppression can come from, can come from, uh, um, and, and let, let me say it a different way. This trigger is that a, a door is already open before the sensual attack comes. There's already a door, and because the door is open, then this can happen. Like if you watch porn, if you watch porn, if you watch porn, yes, it's, it is so bad. I can prove to you that if you watch porn, it can take you straight to. To the to the uh, mental illness, I can prove that to you, and it's all in the Bible as well. Yes, so demonic oppression can, and that's like porn. Mm. Or masturbation. I'm giving you masturbation. So these things open up doors for the secret sensual stronghold yes now the next one is returned attention and i'm going to stop at that for tonight returned attention mm -hmm. mm. what is returned attention where where you are receiving ungodly attention and you return it you gotta draw the line you cannot return it. You got to rebuke it. Some folks, as soon as they fix themselves nicer, they lose a little weight. I don't care who don't like me. Come on, somebody. As soon as they lose a little weight and look more beautiful, come on, they begin to accept more phone call and begin to get some funny stuff on, the, uh, on their phone. Somebody says, oh, you look beautiful and whatever. And it's not the normal acknowledgement and normal uh, admiration is getting into attraction. And all of a sudden, woo, woo And you're going to enjoy. You know, you look beautiful. Woo, woo And they drop their guard right there. Are you there? Amen. Somebody got, you're upset with me. You're upset? <laughs> Come on, help me now. How to what? Conquer secret be, it's not every attention you must take you must know if that attention is ungodly you must know if it is spiritual or sisterly or brotherly are you there you're there you must draw the line and if you're not too sure you're not too sure you say in jesus name i i, I expel that i reject that in the name of jesus because it was not pure come on now come on now so we have talked about the we have talked about the um the first one was the what? The stages. Then we talk about the now the dissection. And now we talk about the triggers. And now we're talking about the solution. My 
God of mercy. How to conquer your secret sensual stronghold. The first solution is to repent. Repent. Do not enjoy. Do not play with it. Do not accept it. Do not say, well, you know, I believe in one save, I'm always saved. So no matter what, I'm going to heaven. Do not. Do not. That false doctrine has, uh, has damaged mm, has damaged many, many of the men of God and women of God and people who you see falling into sexual sin is because they believe at once they're saved, they're always saved. So they have a license and say, I'm still saved. You know? And some folks who fall into it, they are what I call secret Calvinists. Calvinism is where they believe once a savior always they are see they are closet the word is they are closet Calvinists. If you if you are around folks who believe once a savior always saved, you are in danger of the same thing. Yeah. You are in danger. They believe you, you know, you can't backslide. They believe you can't you can't lose your salvation. Once you're around or if you're in a church, ooh, if you're in a church that believe one to save you always save you have more adultery in the church you have more fornication in the church you have more homosexuality chemists chemists just go check chemists chemists it's anything which is wrong is by the fruit you know saying so you know that doctrine is wrong oh god come on come on come on don't hire one folks who believe in one to save you always save let me tell you you're, you're getting ready to fall Ooh, ooh, my lord my lord Come on, how to conquer your secret sexual? Repent. Repent. The first thing is to what? Repent. So much scriptures on repent. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Give me one of the scripture on repent. We'll come back to it. The first one is to repent. The second, the second thing, the second thing is to repair. Repair. Let me tell you five ways to repair your life. To repair your life. Repair your life. Five things to repair your life. Prayer. Bible reading. Church attendance. Tithes and offering. And, and witnessing. Yes. Repair it. Get it. Let me tell you. I'm telling you. Have these five things working in your life. Do not. It's, it's, it's like walking without one hand or walking with one foot you won't walk as well are you there are you there uh, if, 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 you, if, if you lose some of your fingers you won't hold things as well are you there don't satisfy we say i can hold something come on come on come on you want your whole the bible said put on the what whole armor of god and the, the verse in the bible where god says i say use wholesome words not just New Testament. You can't just be a New Testament Christian. No. You have to have New Testament and Old Testament. And the New Testament fulfill the Old Testament. Are you there? But you can't say, I don't believe in the Old Testament. That's a lie. Are you there? Come on. Somebody say, hold some words. That's why God says, um, divide, the scripture, Second Timothy 2, 15. He says, come on, help me with the scripture. Come on now. Rightly divine the word of God. It means there. It, it, it means that it's all over. There are different parts here and parts there. Parts in the Old Testament, parts in the New Testament. Are you there? Amen. Somebody say how to conquer secret, sensual stronghold. Number one, repent. Number two, repair. Repair, repair, get these things working. You're missing the tides, please fix it. They are things that God do for you in this same era if you pay your tithes. You soon get there and pay your offering. You'll be shocked. You know, when you don't give to God, if you don't give to God, you leave yourself exposed. Oh, you'll, you'll be shocked to see. Oh, God, God. I want to run there, but I'm going to wait. Come on. Somebody say repent. Number two, repair. Number three, share cheer listen sensual stronghold is very tough it's very tough god made the earth so that there is a desire between men and women so that men won't be extinct somebody say thank you jesus somebody say thank you jesus so god structured there, there is a feeling between men and women so that we'll always be bearing are you there 
so you'll have that challenge but it has to be done in order are you there are you there so whenever it begins to become out of order and it's not working properly it's not within the marriage bed is not this and whatever whenever it becomes like that and, and it becomes wrong the bible says you have to share it with somebody because you don't want to go to hell you don't want to do the wrong thing and we don't want to go to all the details of what the bible says when you are into sexual sin we don't want to go through which is a lot it's a lot of bad things the bible says that when you involve in sexual sin the bible says you're going to pay the bible said that the bible said once you're involved in adultery or fornication god says you're going to pay oh, oh i'm running too fast Come on. Number one, repent. Number two, repair. Number three, share it. Share it with somebody who is confidential. If you're not winning, if, you, if you're winning, you don't have to share it. But if you're not winning, don't keep it. Mm. Share it. James 5 verse 16, he said, confess your faults one to another. It's in the Bible. Remember, we are all people. We're not animals. And I want you to make it. I, I can't afford for me to go to heaven and you're not there. Are you with me, somebody? So, 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 so share it. I can't afford to go to hell. So I'm fighting and I'm not making it. I'm doing my best. I'm fasting. I'm praying it. And I'm still finding myself indulging. Are you there? No, you, you, you can't take it. Find somebody who is confidential and share it. Watch this now. Watch this now. The moment you share it, you feel at ease. Miss, just the shit, Mark. We haven't gone to the, the person praying for you for you yet. We haven't gone to the person saying, Let's let's have a prayer time together about this thing that's bothering you. And we haven't gone there. The moment you say, Listen, brother, you know, I want to tell you something. I don't want to share. No matter how you know the confidence, you must still tell them. I don't want to share it with anybody, but I have a problem. I have this thing bothering me. Could you help me to pray about it? The moment, the moment you share it. Woo! Some load come off you. So the Bible says, confess your faults one to another. You must look out for each other. You must be looking for as you sleep. We want to destroy you. Are you there? You must be looking that if you sleep, we cover you and praying more. That that's that's supposed to be the spirit in the, the you know. Uh, oh, you see what you do over there? And and no 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 no. You almost gone into sin because we must look out for each other because we don't want nobody to go to hell. Come on, come on. So even that spirit needs to change in the church. And some, somebody must feel safe to can tell you. Come on. Come on, come on. Somebody just share it. Yes. Share it, share it. Watch this now. Share it with a believer. Hmm? Watch this now. And if you're going to share with that believer, you seem to be still struggling. Share it with a leader. Who is confidential, will pray with you, will stay with you, and work with you. Share it. Don't keep it. Don't be any burden alone. Woo! I guarantee you, some who are lesbians today would not be if they had shared it. They would not be. So this feeling coming upon me is not supposed to happen. I, I don't like it. I, it's not supposed to. They wouldn't have gone that far now where it become a stroll and an obsession. Like when they finish, they feel terrible. But, but, but then they can't hold from it. They didn't share it. Don't worry, this if, if God said confess it, there's somebody can confess it to. He said, There's nobody in the church. No, that's a lie. Share it. Number four. Number four. Give me number one. Come on. Give me number two. Repair. Number three. Share. Number four. Memorize. Memorize scripture. Memorize scripture about this thing this is the bomb memorize anything bothering not just sensual stronghold mm -hmm. because the reason why i say sensual it includes even alcoholism smoking perversion even hate even strife yeah yeah you can use these same huh guidelines to conquer those stuff it can't come off the alcohol. It can't come off the smoking. Come on. Come on. Memorize scripture. Psalm 119 verse 11. He said, thy word have I hid 
come on somebody in my heart come on somebody that i come on might not sin Ooh, against thee Ooh, you can only hide it in your heart if you memorize it and whenever that attack come that scripture does come up come on somebody i forget i forget what the scripture quote he says god will bring it back to your memory glory to god i beg god in prayer all the time lord please let me remember the scriptures i don't take it like that no i said god please let me remember scripture very powerful and the devil attacking you come on somebody that scripture rise up like a bomb hebrews 4 12 he says the word of god is quick and powerful come on sharper than any two-edged sword number five so important remind yourself of the price paid by others who are falling remind don't just go on remember somebody who got hurt from it remember somebody who got hates from it remember somebody when the husband heard about it he, he killed somebody remember that did you hear what i said can I say, still take it heavy? Remember that murder that happened because of that adultery. That you heard about. You heard about three years ago. You saw it in the news. Remember. Remind yourself. You don't know what kind of emotion you play with when you play with adultery. You don't know. Come on. You don't know. In front of the case, you don't know. Somebody getting ready to kill you. It's all in the Bible. You you go too long. The Bible speaks of somebody feels something in his heart. And thought he could have a good time. <laughs> Die is his heart. Is it too heavy? Is it too heavy? Come on. Now. Remind yourself. Mm. First Corinthians 3 17. Hear this. Say, if any man defile this temple, him shall God destroy. Wow. And he says, he says, we are his temple. Wow. So remind yourself of the price that have been paid. Six. Mm. Most people don't do this one. You find this thing bothering you. You find this thing overshadowing you. Vow. Make a vow. God. God. If you deliver me from this obsession, from this thing that bothered me, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Come on. Make a vow. Make a vow. Now, when you make a vow, you can't make a vow, you know, say, Lord, I give you $10, you know, per year. <laughs> you know? Say, I vow, Lord. Now, when you make a vow, it's something that is tough. I can't tell you what about, but it's tough. But you say, God, this thing happened to me is so tough. But God, if you remove this, I'm going to give you this thing. I'm talking about like giving me your car. You, you got it? Something big. Uh, uh, God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy a bus for, for my church. And that kind of a slum talk, that, that it's tough. Come on. It take a lot out of you. Come on, somebody. But God saw your heart. Come on, you don't believe me. Let, 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 let me give you the verse. Ooh, Lord, Rabbi, Sata, Rabbi, Rabbi. Ma, 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 ma. Psalm 76, verse 11 and 12. Mm. God says, get, get me that verse quick. Psalm 76. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can anybody find it? Oh, read it. Come, come again. <laughs> Vow and pay unto the Lord your God. And what will happen? What will happen? Let yeah. yeah. Let come on. Let all that be round about him bring present unto him that are to be fair. He shall cut off the spirit of princes. He is terrible to the kings of the earth. He said, vow and pay. And God said, when you pay, he said, he shall what? He shall what? He shall what? 
He didn't say he's he gonna weaken. He never said he's gonna overpower. Amen. What is it? He shall what? Cut off what? The spirit, the spirit of what? Prince. You know what prince mean? Prince mean the head demon. Principality. He mean the strongest one. He said, when you vow and pay, he take the neck off. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. But you vow with something that gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it. It's gonna cost you. It must cost you, or it's not a vow. It's just an offering. Ooh. Come on. It's more than it's a vow. It's crazy. Come on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say vow. What number am I now? Six, seven, seven. Move, move, move. How to conquer secret, sensual stronghold? There come a time when you have to be willing to move. Sometimes you will not win where you are. You have to move. Ooh, come on now. Come on, Joseph. What? Joseph. What? Oh, I am strong. I'm strong in the Lord. The power of his mind. No. What did Joseph do? He moved. He moved. He moved. Practice to move. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Second Timothy 2 and verse 22. He said, flee. Youthful, most of you never flee that yet. That's why you get into trouble. Come on, can you feel silly fleeing? Come on, no, flee. Come on, flee. You're in a spot, flee. You're cornered, flee. Come on, flee. Glory to God. And most time when you flee, do not explain every, everything. Let, let me tell the church. Most folks get in trouble because they try to explain everything. The spot that you are in, the person who you are in it with, know that you are in a spot. So they're manipulating you. They know you're in a spot. Come on. So don't try to apologize for the spot. Just flee. You don't have to answer everything. Jesus didn't answer everything. We try to answer everything. That's why we get in trouble. So they anticipate us. What we're going to say. And corner you. Have you ever had people call you and give you the perfect reason why they didn't show up? No, don't listen to it. Because they already sit down. I say, what is the perfect reason I'm going to give them when I never show up? So you're, you're sitting duck. Are you there? You just don't listen. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Mm. How to conquer secret sensual stronghold. Move. Watch me now. Some of you don't understand the move. Sometimes you have to move from the job never hear these things in your life sometimes you have to move from that building where 10 families are living you never hear these things in your life i'm strong no i'm not no i'm, I'm gonna walk the other way i'm, I'm not no sometimes sometimes you gotta move from that building and go across town you're not you're not ready for me yet. you're not ready sometimes you have to move from that state folks never hear this stuff in their life come on come on not ready for it, but remember you were you were you were taught. You were if it, if it's so if it's so tough and it come like you're gonna fail, it come like you're gonna disappoint your children, it come like you're gonna put yourself in trouble that all the little babies growing up gonna have a messed up oh my and it is bothering you and you it, 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 some of you trying to get over this thing and you know and all the little children and you look and say no 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 I ain't gonna take no child this thing too strong move to a different state I don't care don't like me I'm giving like it is. Mm. my lord number eight sanctify yourself <laughs> sanctify yourself sanctify yourself sanctify yourself in fasting and prayer watch me now you're fasting one day and it's still upon you the two days <laughs> come on now hmm. you know two days is still better the three days Come on, fastly I have no more strength if you can't mess around. Come on. Oh, you don't want any teaching. Because you see, you pay a price. And, I, I, and you say the price is too high. Anybody ever go into the store? Come on. You're going to buy any milk for $100? 
Come on. You know, he wants to say, I don't want it. I don't want no milk for $100. Come on now. <laughs> come on, come on. So pay a high price. Come on, I'm going to fast. I'm going to fast. I'm going to fast. I'm going to fast. Come on. You ain't going to do that after you fast like that. Tell me you don't believe it. Let me get the scripture quick. Let me get the scripture quick. Get the scripture quick. First Peter 4, verse 1 to 3. He said, For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself. Somebody say he paid the price. Oh God. Somebody say he paid the ultimate price. Wow. This is in the Bible. He said, Arm yourself likewise. Ooh. So the Bible says it's better for you to have one eye. Come on, somebody. And come on and go to heaven come on somebody glory to god what it really mean but they have one i don't do that thing because how are you gonna go if you do that thing you don't want any clarification come on come on come on come on he says he says he says, he says arm yourself like oh christ did it with the same mind as christ oh for he that has suffered in the flesh no, I feel like preaching. Had ceased from sin. Did you hear that? I ceased from sin. Sanctify yourself. Sanctify yourself. Did you get that verse? Did you get it? Verse 2. That that he no longer. Oh, someone said no longer. Someone said cease from sin. Someone said no longer. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, Ooh, right there. but to the will of God. Hallelujah. My Lord, my Lord. And number nine. Number nine. Receive deliverance. Receive the deli accept deliverance. From someone who has the authority over that stronghold. Somebody pray over you. The Bible says, Whatsoever I bind on earth, come on, it's bound in heaven. Whatsoever I loose on earth is loose in heaven. Stand up, everybody. Stand up, everybody. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I want everyone right now to just pray. This is not just sensual. Any other stronghold. Alcohol. Smoking. Gambling. Yes. I want you to pray right now. Because the moment, we are in the moment right now where God is raising you up to conquer it not only are you going to conquer it but you're going to help many because what's that's what this church is about whatever you gain from the lord you're going to help others i want you to pray right now deal with it deal with it it begins with repentance it begins with repentance glory to god yes talk talk to the lord about it any stronghold yes in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Touch me again, Lord. <laughs> Touch me again, Lord. <laughs> This moment I feel like a fresh touch I need. Oh, touch me again, Lord. Oh, touch me again. Burn the drug. Out of me, burn the drug out of me. 
Send the fire down from heaven. Anybody need prayer? Come right now. Anybody need prayer? Come. Burn the drug out of me. My own is on the altar. I'm waiting for the fire. Waiting. Don't be afraid to come. Waiting. Waiting. The Bible says even Jesus was tempted in every year where you were tempted. But never sin. I'm waiting for the fire. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. Hey! I know what joy that flood my soul hey! something happened and now I know he touched me and made me Father, in your hand right now, our place. Hallelujah. These honest brethren, Lord, who seek to conquer every stronghold, every secret, sensual stronghold. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We capture them. In the name of Jesus. We conquer them. In the name of Jesus. We bind and expel every secret sensual stronghold from off your people. In the name of Jesus. It will have no lot, no part in their life. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. I speak holiness, purity, godliness upon your people in the name of Jesus. And those watching, those watching by the internet, I release deliverance upon you right now. Deliverance. In the name of Jesus, receive the anointing. Receive the flame of fire to conquer every secret sensual stronghold. That brother, that sister, that child of God, I release upon you right now from the word that anointed and power to break it off your life i set you free by the power of the blood i set you free by the word of god i set you free by the holy ghost in the name of jesus receive your deliverance right now in the name of jesus and don't be afraid as i as i lay my hand upon you, you can go back to your seats in the name of Jesus deliver in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus come on Pastor Collins come and help me here delivered Ooh. my God my God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we don't have a lot of time can spend with you delivered in the name of Jesus oh glory to God glory to God Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. As you go home, go back to the notes. Yes, go back to the notes and get it into your second nature. Get it into your second nature. It will not work as I get it into your second nature. Go back through it again. Or get a hold of, 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 of the, the DVD or the tape. Or go online and play it over and over over and over make sure it's online tonight play it over and over get it into your spirit glory to god i believe they'll put it on youtube as well and, and share it with your friends 
share with your neighbors share with the other brothers and sisters in the church and friends of the church share it hallelujah because we are our brother's keeper say amen lift your hands and praise the lord say in the name of jesus i conquer every secret sensual stronghold of my life now in jesus name hallelujah